Well, I think this is a, a reaction that's way over the top by China. Uh, but I do think there's something useful here, and that is for particularly the people of the United States, but uh, really around the world, uh, to get a true picture of uh, how China sees itself. You know, it's, uh, it's one thing to talk about China in the abstract as a threat in, in this century, but it's another thing to see this real belligerence, uh, real hostility, uh, the real uh, act of a bully. And uh, I think it will redound against them. I don't think this is at the beginning of a serious threat. But I think this uh, overreaction to Nancy Pelosi's visit uh, uh, is something that's a, a teachable moment, as they say. People should learn from this. This is the real face of the government in Beijing. And this is real politic, isn't it? This is how it almost, you know, it's hard not to find your mind casting back to the, the dark days, the coldest days of the Cold War. And that sense of, you know, poking the bear was what we did to see what kind of reaction we would get. And then they, you know, we'd come back at them. And so, and, and the tit for tat would go on. And to an outsider, it would seem almost like playground politics. But actually, it served a purpose, didn't it? To test the resolve of your adversary. Yeah. Well, it's really the Chinese who are overreacting. Uh, Nancy Pelosi is not advocating any change in the existing uh, U.S. policy. She's she's saying exactly what the Biden administration would say. Now, that's not what I would say. I would change our existing policy uh, in, in a number of uh, respects to make it tougher with China. But si Nancy Pelosi is simply repeating what we've said for many years. And the fact the Chinese government has trouble accepting it uh, shows, I think, uh, uh, really what they're what their real attitude is. They're, they're the ones that are saying to us, American officials may not go to this island without incurring our displeasure, to which our response should be, American officials will go where they want to go. How, how likely, John Bolton, do you think a Chinese invasion in the next three to five years is? Well, I think an invasion is really very unlikely. I think, uh, I think China does not want to take over a heap of smoking rubble. I think they want Taiwan, with all its productive capabilities, to kind of fall into their lap. And I'm afraid what their real plan is, is to uh, manufacture a crisis, perhaps announce a blockade of the island, and see whether the United States, Japan, and others come to stand uh, with Taiwan. And because if we don't, then I think the island is in real jeopardy. I think we obviously have to protect against the possibility of a physical invasion. And there are many, many things we could do, including uh, restationing American forces on Taiwan, as we did for many years before Jimmy Carter uh, gave that up. Uh, and I think also very important is to build Taiwan into regional defense and alliance structures with Japan, South Korea, Australia, Singapore, and others. Uh, you know, in Asia, there's not a comparable uh, alliance to NATO. It's a series of hub and spoke relations with the U.S. And I think Taiwan and, and many others in the region would be better off with a more comprehensive system that we have to begin to build toward. We've had a big reset uh, in this country over the last 10 years since the, the so-called golden era of cooperation uh, inaugurated under Xi Jinping and David Cameron at the time. And we've, we've grown a lot more wary, a lot more sceptical. We've heaved Huawei out of our 5G system. We've asked them politely to desist from investing in our nuclear program. But there is an economic price to be paid, isn't there? And when people in this country and in America are facing big inflationary price increases, you need to take people with you, don't you? you need to help them understand that, yes, sometimes to be freer does involve to be that little bit poorer. Uh, absolutely. I think it's very important for political leaders in, in the U.S. and the U.K. to explain the nature of the threat that we face from China. You know, I don't, I don't think there ever was a golden era of cooperation. The Chinese have been stealing intellectual property from the U.S., the U.K., Europe, Japan for three decades or more. Uh, they've been taking advantage of us. We have not responded effectively. It is going to be more difficult to st stand up to China. But as we can see, if, when they react this way over a visit by Nancy Pelosi, uh, how will they react 10 years from now when their military power is significantly greater? So I think uh, this is the time to make it clear that we don't accept this behavior from China. We're not going to follow what they want us to do with the travel schedules of our officials. And by the way, we're long since tired of them stealing our intellectual property.
John Bolton, appreciate your time as ever. Thanks very much indeed. Uh,